In this video, we are going to use three different scopes to visualize the input and output of this system in real time. So the first scope I'm going to use is the normal scope. I just have to double click on the sibling canvas and type scope. I will then click on scope. So by default, it is accepting only one input, but I want to visualize two signals. So I have to double click on the scope, go to file, and then adjust the number of input ports from one to two. So now it can accept two signals. So I can adjust the scope to make it bigger. I will then put my signals into the scopes. So I have the input signal here, and then I have the output signal here. So I can name the signals by double clicking on the signal. So if I double click on it, I can give it a name input so that when I use my legend in the scope, I'll be able to see the name of the signal. I will also double click on the output signal and type output. So I have my output here. In order to see the visualization of my signals at the start of each simulation, I have to double click on the scope, go to settings, which is this gear tool, and then check the open at simulation start. So if I do that, I'll be able to achieve my M. The next thing I have to go to view, then check on the legend so that I will be able to see which signal is switch. And then now I can click or run. After clicking or run, you can see I have my input and output signal as shown by this legend. But the problem is that the visualization appears at the end of the simulation. That is because the simulation time is much, much faster than the normal real time. So I have to adjust that in order to view my signal in real time. So the block I'm going to use is the simulation pace. So I just have to double click on the simulation canvas and then type simulation pace. So this is my simulation pace. So if you double click on the block, this box show you the relationship between the simulation time and the real time. So you can see it is at one by default, which tells you that this blocks makes the simulation time to be equal to the real time. If I make it, for example, four, it means the simulation time is still faster than the real time. But I just want to see real time simulation, so I'll keep it at one. So if I click on apply, OK, and then click on run again, so you will see now I'm seeing my real time simulation. So that is for the first method. So before we use the second scope, let me go back to settings and then uncheck the open at simulation start. Click and apply OK. And I will then double click on the simulation canvas and then type plotting scope. Then click on plotting scope. So for the plotting scope, it doesn't actually take any input. So you just have to select the signals you want to visualize within the scope. So if I double click on the scope, I will then go on selection tab here, which is this padlock. So I have the selection tab here. So it will open the selection window. I just have to select the signals I want to visualize. So I will tap on input. I want to visualize my input. I will select it. So it is now connected to the plotting scope. I will then click on output. I also want to visualize it. I will click on it and then I will close my selection window. Then I will go back, double click on the plotting scope. I want to view my legend. So I will click on legend and then I will go back to the settings. I want it to be open at the start of my simulation. So I will click on apply. OK click or run so you can see it is also showing my simulation in real time so before seeing the last scope let me go to the settings again and then uncheck the open as simulation start then apply ok so the final method is using the dashboard scope so for dashboard scope i just have to double click on the simulation canvas again tap dashboard scope then select on dashboard scope let me make it a bit bigger. I just have to select the signals I want to visualize. I will double click on it. Then I will select the input signal by clicking on it. Then tick here. Then I will select the output signal. And I will also click on it because I want to visualize it. Then I just have to click on the run button. 
so you can see i'm visualizing my signal in real time if you want a comprehensive tutorial on using symbolink for control systems watch the video on the screen please like and subscribe to the channel if you learn something thank you for watching